Good morning, traders. Well, FX markets really traded in a, a bit of a holding pattern on Monday to start the week of uh, some very big data coming up. Uh, EU PMIs are pretty ugly, um, all missing expectations, which really indicated a slowing economy and some sticky prices hanging around, which uh, raised that spectre of stagflation, uh, really weighed on the euro, seeing it underperform last night. Uh, US dollar was firmer Monday. The rise in the dollar index, uh, aided really by the weakness in the euro and the pound and a, a, a rebound in US Treasury yields. So the dollar index hit a high of 101.42, where it closed out the highs in, in a pretty boring session, but very low volatility and, and range bound. Uh, US dollar trade is obviously showing caution ahead of key risk events later in the week, uh, headlined by the FOMC. Um, and those rally, the, those yields uh, mentioned before, they rallied around, the 10-year rally to around 3.88%, which obviously helped uh, support the US dollar as well. Um, the euro, as mentioned before, was an underperformer, the G10 underperformer, though the pound wasn't very far behind. Um, disappointing EU and UK PMIs where misses were basically seen across the board. So euro US hit a low of 1. 1061, testing that FIB retracement level with uh, of its recent run up um, as it tested the support there. Now, the ECB meeting on Thursdays is also pricing in a 25 basis point hike, but the question is, uh, is there another one coming in September? That'll be where most of the action is from the statement after that meeting. Pound watches, um, cable briefly hit below that 128 major support level before finding some support and bouncing uh, and modestly to be about 20 pips above by the end of the session. Uh, Aussie and Kiwis were firmer. Kiwi was out, outperformed the Aussie more on Aussie dollar weakness. Um, There's a couple of PMI figures that disappointed out on Monday. Um, that's down back below 109. So for those mean reversion traders, you, you're still above that, uh, that mean. Yeah, so it is still in the sell zone if you, that's the way you want to trade it. Um, key CPI figures out of Australia tomorrow will be the, the main risk event for Aussie dollar traders this week. Um, Canadian dollar saw marginal gains against the US dollar. Uh, real lack of anything Canadian specific, but aided it seems by um, a strong rally in, in the crude oil complex on the, uh, on the tailwind of uh, Chinese stimulus. Uh, US dollar CAD tested Friday's lows at around 131.50 uh, before finding a bit of support uh, and having a, a modest rebound as well. Uh, safe havens were mixed. Uh, the yen was strong early in the session. US dollar yen hitting a low about 140.73 before reversing course as those US treasury Treasury yields recovered, uh, ended the session mostly flat on, flat on the day. Um, like the EU and the US, uh, yen traders have got this pivotal central bank meeting uh, later this week on Friday where the BOJ will release its monetary policy. Um, it's, it, it's expected they will have some tweaks to, uh, to, to their yield curve controls, so some volatility on the yen expected over that. Swiss franc uh, was also weighed upon by those that comeback in Treasury yields. Uh, USD CHF breaking out of its recent range to the upside uh, to touch on that 87 level.